okay hi everyone there so today i will show you how to look at the andromeda galaxy in the sky with using our latest stellarium software as you can see i have already downloaded and installed this stellarium software which we will be using to locate the andromeda galaxy now We'll wait. Once it opens, we'll start. Okay. This is the actual time now. Uh, we'll go to the time. So the time now is around 10.52 p.m. 50 second. Okay. Now it is... We are looking at the southern part of the sky in Bangalore. So now... I'll go towards the north side. So you can see this is northern sky. So suppose you stand facing towards the north. What you can see is an in M step M M shaped constellation here, which is called as the Cassiopeia. Now, if I put the line lines connecting the stars from the Cassiopeia, this is the M shaped uh, uh, galaxy. Uh, sorry, a constellation which is called as the Cassiopeia. Now, if you want to uh, see the names, see this is the Cassiopeia. Now what you have to do is first stand facing towards the north, locate this M shaped constellation called as the Cassiopeia. Then as you locate that, come little above. So what you can see is uh, there is a big constellation called as the Pegasus which is the horse. If you want to see the diagrammatic representation. So this is somewhat like this. So here more upwards little towards the west of the Cassiopeia is the great square of Pegasus. This is a very important landmark. You have to find this great square of Pegasus. So once you find all the four corners the stars forming the four corners of the great square you move towards the right you find a very faint star which is called as the uh, which is the magnitude of 3.25 and uh, you have little towards the right there's one more star which is named as the Mirac which you can see here now this is a very important landmark for us now you have the m shaped constellation the cassiopeia and the myrac here these two are important landmarks now what we do is from the myrac we'll just go about if you have to measure it in angles it will be somewhere around suppose if you are using a binoculars so now you have to go about 7 degrees exactly and there you will get the Cassiopeia ok so this is sorry Andromeda galaxy this is the Andromeda galaxy now you have to find out the star Mirac so from the great square of Pegasus then you select the star Mirac then from there you just come down to about 7 degrees and you can see a faint patch this is the Andromeda galaxy now you have the M shaped Cassiopeia towards the down that's how you can confirm the location if see if this, this forms an angle so if I bisect this angle and draw a line upwards 
it goes and meets this star mirai okay so that's how you can confirm the star then come down you have a faint star another faint star then you will look at it now let's see how it looks exactly it looks just like a faint patch now if we can magnify it with a with an ocular this is how it looks with the hubble picture but don't expect all those things when you are looking with your binoculars even you will not get a view like this with your telescope also what you can see is a very faint patch so be happy with it uh, when you see a faint patch if you are lucky you will see it otherwise um, it is very difficult to look at so remember once again you have to locate Cassiopeia and the great square of Pegasus come towards Mirac and about 7 degrees down you have the Andromeda galaxy you need to use binoculars you cannot see it with the naked eyes so you have to use uh, uh, binoculars about, about 10 into 50 uh, Celestron or of any make like Olympiad or, uh, or Olympus or uh, whatever uh, you have so isn't it exciting to look at this wonderful galaxy so hope I hope you will have a nice time locating the Andromeda so let us join together next time to look at some wonderful object in the sky thank you